Hi everyone. I'm going to teach you a little trick about how to improve some of your basic strokes when you're practicing. So as you know, um, what basic strokes are is we build on calligraphy with the underturn and the overturn and the compound curve. I'm just drawing them with my pencil without pressure and the reverse compound curve. And you can practice this exercise without your brush pens. So I have the drawing pencil for my deluxe lettering kit. I have the line paper for my line paper pad. Uh, I've taken the paper out so I have a flat surface. I have my fine liner here and a couple of dream pens. So now let me um, write, I'll use my stream dream pen from the Meadow set, the smaller tip, and I will, I, I'll just go right under it here. So there is your underturn, your overturn, your compound curve, and your reverse compound curve. So what I want you to do is take these four strokes and you're gonna write the word minimum. But instead of thinking of the letters of the alphabet, you are simply going to think of the strokes, okay? So first I'm going to write the word minimum the way I normally do, uh, like this. And then what I'll do is I'm gonna show you the breakdown and how it can really help you um, focus on the strokes so that you get more consistent. Because what I find beginners do is they actually know the basic strokes and they can execute them when they're practicing. And then as soon as they go to write a word, it becomes, it changes, and they think M instead of overturn, overturn, compound, curve. And I know it might sound silly to you, but that's actually how I want you to think of it. So I'm gonna grab my fine liner here, and I'll show you what I mean. So here's minimum, I'm gonna have, I have my overturn, and another overturn, and a compound curve. So you should be able to do this with your strokes. And I stop right here, but you can go right up to the top if you like. So let's, I'm gonna use my pink pen now, and I'm gonna show you the breakdown of this instead of using my fine liner, okay? So let's start with the M. I want you to think overturn, overturn, compound curve. And these strokes should be the same as what you're doing you using what you're doing when you're writing the word. Do you see what I mean? And now I have my I is a reverse compound curve. So I want you to do the breakdown of the word minimum. And then this stroke is a compound curve. Now I shortened some of my um, strokes, but you don't. I mean, you can just do the entire stroke when you're writing your word. So here is a reverse compound curve. And you can see this word actually doesn't have any ascender loops, no ovals, just these four basic strokes. Oh, I lost where I was. <laughs> that N, and then I have overturn and then compound curve for the M. Overturn, compound curve. So when you are writing this and practicing, do not think of the um, underturn and reverse compound curve. Do not think about the letters. Think about the separate strokes. I know, look at this. This is the word minimum. And I have one more overturn and another compound curve. So here we go. Just like that. So you should be able to take any word you're writing and do the breakdown just like this. And you don't have to use your brush pen. You can use your pencil or a pen. You can do this at work when you're on your break or whatever. So I'll just do the first few with my pencil. And you can put heavy downstrokes on. Your pencil should be fairly soft. My, I just sharpened mine so um, it's not that great. <laughs> it's kind of uh, wobbly. But this is your M. And another thing you can do is you could actually do it in pencil first, and then you could trace over it with your brush pen, like that. 
Okay, so I think it's a great idea if you take any word like this. Um, I'm gonna do one more word, just a simple word that I have in my other video, and it is the word um, mint. So I'm gonna move this up a bit. And like I said, you, you want to practice really simple words. So if I'm gonna do mint, I'm gonna think, what's mint? Overturn, overturn, compound curve, underturn, oh, that's, sorry, my reverse compound curve, my compound curve, and now my T is my underturn, like that. Okay, so here's your word, and now do your breakdown. And, and see how it turns out with your breakdown. It should look exactly the same. Overturn, overturn, compound curve, reverse compound curve, compound curve, and underturn. I'm not gonna cross my T. So if you try this little trick of taking your word, writing a simple word, and I don't mean a word with ovals and everything, just stick to these four strokes, the underturn, overturn, and compound curves, and write the word and then do the breakdown and just see how your consistency measures up. Well, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching and I hope you subscribe to my channel.